Bon Giorno. All right, that'll be the only bad joke. Realistically, not, but I'm going to try to limit the horrible, horrible jokes I make into this one. I got an exciting one today. Uh, this is a 24-hour Italian combat ration, Module F. And the Module F one is special, along with the Module B one, for two, or really one very specific reason. Uh, it's got a content sheet on the front in Italian, English, and I believe... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's French. So, uh, you can kind of tell. You can see it's ordered from this indentation. This comes pre-boxed for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, Module F, uh, I'm going to try to hold it up. This thing's got some heft to it. Like, it's surprisingly hefty. Uh, breakfast has sweet biscuits, 50 grams, two fruit jams for 25 grams each of apricot, single-dose cappuccino, uh, soluble sugar tea. Cordial is the big one there. Uh, out of all the modules, which I believe there's seven, eight, 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 eight nope, six, six or seven, uh, two of them have cordial alcohol in them, module F and module B. Uh, it comes with a uh, sugar, water disinfecting kit, disposable toothbrushes, box of matches, toothpicks, paper rubbish bags, uh, salt, camp stove, fuel bars, napkins, spoon, and one slip of instructions. Lunch is soup, canned beef and jelly, crackers, fruit salad, multivitamin tabs, instant coffee, bran tablets, and sugar, and more napkins and plastic cutlery. And then for supper, we got ravioli with meat sauce, canned tuna and beans, crackers, instant coffee, sugar, fruit, and cereal bars. Um, I got this one on eBay. Sorry, I know that wasn't in frame, but I mean, I just read it. And also, like I said, this thing's got some considerable weight to it. Uh, I got it on eBay for like, I don't know, I got really lucky on this one. I think I, I got it for like $70. <laughs> Which sounds like a lot, but I think I saw these on MRE Mountain for like 150 or something like that on sale. So I think you can probably open it from the top here. Yeah, no? Yeah, I think I'm just going to cut it. Realistically, it's going to be the easiest way to do it. Oh, hey. Yeah. So it's the front. This is from 2017, so two years old. Uh... Looks like the best before date is uh, probably August 7th. I think that's how their date system is over there. Uh, 2019. Actually, I don't know. I don't speak Italian. So <laughs> we're going to get this opened up from back here. Like I said, you could probably pull it apart from there. But, you know, I got a tripod in and also got a tray in. So. Get this bad boy opened up. I'm trying not to, because I still have it on top of a box to get the height and everything. But all right, so I definitely probably didn't open this all that well. I just went ahead and cut it off screen because I really didn't want to fuck anything up. So that's what it looks like right away. Nice bright red box. We're gonna go ahead and get it out. Sweet. See what we got. All right. So yeah, this is the breakfast module. We'll have that like right there. Wow, jeez Louise. Pretty sure the lunch module weighs like twice as much. That's, jeez. Yeah, it's a little bit shorter, but a little bit wider as well. See? It has a little bit more depth, but it's a little bit shorter. And then finally we got dinner or supper, however you want to say it, down there. So... We're going to go ahead and do the breakfast one first and, you know, see what all is going on there. Hopefully everything's intact. Uh, I mean, this came in decent condition. Like, it didn't, the only real noticeable damage was, like, up there at the top. But that's probably because this thing is two, probably three years old. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get breakfast cracking. All right, so we got breakfast here. Like I said, box looks like it's fine. It doesn't smell off. It just smells kind of like cardboard. Uh, I really like the fact that this has English on it because it saves me a lot of trouble. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get it open and see what we got. That's the top part right away. We got the... Wow, they don't mess around. I was thinking mini toothbrushes, but three full-size toothbrushes and a small thing of toothpaste. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> 
Uh, set that over there. Right here, looks like napkins and the instruction seat, which, I mean, I'm not really that worried about it. Uh, looks like, I think these are the fuel tablets. I am probably could be wrong. Fuel tablets, which means a stove. No. Napkins, spoon, pretty. Oh no! The spoon didn't make it. It's got a little chip in it, but that's fine. Nice. Mm. Cappuccino. Doesn't really feel caked up or anything like that, so that's good. Oh boy, here we are. Wow, just from, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of it too. Cordial alcohol. Very rare. Forty percent in the breakfast thing. I'm pretty sure this is the only combat ration in the world that has alcohol in it. I'm incredibly excited for that. That's gonna be fun. And just look at that. I was really worried that might have like bursted or something like that. Happy to report that it is intact. That's exciting. Um <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I was very excited for this. Oh no, okay. This is the fuel tablets. I need to figure out what those are then. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So, six fuel tablets. That would be that tea product. I believe that is sugar. Box of matches. Just a little pack of salt. Oh, wow. All right, this is a heavy duty stove right here. Goodness. You take it and you, oh my God. Wow. You could use this over. I'm probably going to use that a lot for other rations too. That is. And it doesn't feel flimsy either. It's solid. It's very solid. And then looks like these are the biscuits, which feel crumbly. They did not make it. Well, I don't know. They definitely got some crumbles in there, but I don't feel completely compromised. Yeah. Jam. And the second jam, apricot. Apricot, however you want to pronounce it. Three toothpicks. Exciting stuff. So, that is breakfast. And let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Yeah. So, that's breakfast. That is not a bad breakfast at all. Uh, man, I really can't wait to dig into that. That's going to be exciting. 40% is not anything to scoff at either. That's fairly strong. I think these are, yeah, water purification tablets, duh. So that's breakfast, let's go ahead and see what we got in the lunch component. Real quick, I was mistaken with this, this is the disposal bags, not the napkins, which I believe I said earlier. Here's that considerably hefty lunch module. Let's go ahead and see what we got up in here. More cutlery that held up a little bit better this time. It's got a fork in there. That's a very thick looking fork. Yeah, that's got some resistance to it for sure. Regular old instant coffee. More very crumbly biscuits. Yeah, those did not hold up. Well, they're not completely bad, but they, you know, uh, energy tablets, I believe. Intermix. More crackers. Man, these, wow, these are really bad. Those did not remotely hold up. I believe these are those brand tablets or something like that. Fiber tablets. Uh, minestrone. It's your main in a very plain looking can. Bright yellow. Got another can here. That's the beef and jelly. Which. <laughs> It doesn't seem horrifically appetizing, but I'm sure it's great. And then mixed fruit. I bet you that's really good. Yeah, that's gonna be amazing. More sugar. So that's lunch. I guess those cans really added all that weight there because I was kind of expecting it to be like overflowing with stuff considering how much heavier it was. Alright, as you can see here, dinner looks completely different compared to the rest. Let's see what we got. Wow. Wow, look at that knife. That's got some fairly deep serration on it. 
I like the fact that you get different cutlery for each meal as opposed to just kind of one spoon. Fruit bar? Um, let's see. More biscuits. These actually feel like they held up a little bit. I think that top one's kind of toast, but the ones behind it feel like they're in one-ish pieces. Another bar. Sugar. Coffee. Ravioli in a nice orange can, and then that tuna. That's the mar. Come on, baby. There we go. Ah, nice little chunk tuna. So that would be everything in the dinner module. I keep setting everything off to the side, expecting there to be more because of how heavy it is. But yeah, that's a hefty portion of it the ingredients list I can't I don't I don't speak Italian so 331 kilojoules 79 calories per 100 so that's 400 about 320 calories for the ravioli so yeah uh, we're gonna obviously start off by getting breakfast put together which will happen now we got breakfast ready to go. It looks really barren without all the extra like accessories and shit, which I don't really have a need to get them out. So we're just doing it this way. We got the alcohol here, uh, your biscuits, jam, tea, drink. We're gonna go ahead and get these drinks going while this water's still hot though. Also, my tray came in, so I don't have to just eat it on the couch like a Neanderthal. It's gonna be for tea. It's gonna be for the coffee. I'm not gonna use a lot of water on that. And then I have, like, the world's tiny, just like a little bitty shot glass to put the alcohol in instead of drinking it out of the tube. So, first and foremost, get this, it's actually kind of a large thing, it's a cappuccino. I'm not going to add any sugar to it at first. I'm not going to add any sugar to any of it at first, just to kind of see how it is. Ooh, it spat out at me. So that's what, can't really, ooh, it smells strong. Can't really see is get it in the Huh. Looks kinda white. It looks like salt and pepper almost. It's kind of a grayish type color to it. Uh, soluble tea. I'm trying to do more stuff on camera. I'm also trying to not be as close to the camera because this thing's got a pretty good microphone. Most of the time you don't really get soluble tea you get it in the bags so that's kind of exciting get a fair amount of napkins I mean they feel like kind of waxy kind of sort of almost kind of like uh, what you get in a gift bag wow that's actually kind of strong oh shit and finally It probably shouldn't dilute it too terribly much. Good lord, I'm making a mess. Oh my god. And the tea. I might have put too much in that as well. Jeez, that's kind of hot. Ah, okay, so that's going to be a minute. <laughs> We're going to try these sweet biscuits out and see how that goes. I'm fully expecting these to go everywhere. Those actually kind of held up. Whoa, that smells really good. <laughs> it smells very almost vanilla y, kind of like a vanilla wafer. I was not expecting that. Wow, that seriously smells really good. It's like a big old vanilla wafer. I'm gonna try a piece by itself first. Hmm, I kind of thought that would have more flavor compared to the smell. Don't get me wrong, it's still really good. It's very, very ever so lightly sweet. But not overpowering, so I'm actually going to save these for later. Like for lunch or something like that. Or just save that one for lunch. Very, very, very ever so faint vanilla flavor to it. That's about the only real thing I'm picking up. Got a decent crunch. Oh, that looks good. Check that out. 
Very faint apricot smell. Man, I really gotta stop hitting this big box or get a better thing to put it on. Let's try let's try a little bit of that on its own with this very dangerous spoon. Hopefully I don't like cut my mouth open. Very pronounced uh, apricot flavor to it, for sure. Doesn't taste like Wow, that's like gray. Doesn't taste overly artificial or anything. Of course, I don't. Yeah, that's, wow, the second bite was a lot better. Very sweet, fruity, not tart at all. I can't wait to try that on this. It's going to be, I imagine it's going to complement everything quite well. A little bit of it on that. That's a perfect combo. That is really good. The. The very pronounced sweetness of the apricot plays off the like vanilla undertones of the cookie. And that crunch, of course, is very satisfying. You know, I'm not normally much of a jam person. I said that in my HDR one. That is really good. It's not overbearing. It doesn't taste like overly fake or anything. Very natural. Very sweet. That is still really hot. <laughs> I thought for sure that would cool off by now, so I'm going to dunk this and that, see how that goes. Also kind of stir it a little bit because I don't know if I did a good job or not. That ain't bad. So these are just so subtly flavored. And then that, here I'm just going to try a little bit of it and hopefully not burn the ever living shit out of my mouth. Hmm. See, I'm not much of a coffee drinker. Like, I'll have the occasional one, but I can't tell you anything about what kind of roast it is. It's very light, semi-sweet. Not like Starbucks candy coffee, basically. But it's not too dark, because I can't do black coffee. <laughs> I I've done it before out of, like, desperation for trying to stay awake, but it's not for me. Uh, it's just, it's really easy to go down. It's very smooth. It's incredibly smooth. Kind of the bottom, the further down you get, the stronger it gets. I probably could have used like half as much water, but you know, live and let learn. I got two more coffees for me to try that out on, so that's really good coffee. <laughs> and now I'm going to try the tea out. That should be fine. I'm not a huge tea person either, so. Oh, wow. That is good. Very sharp, well not overly sharp, very pronounced lemon whenever you drink it. It, it kind of, very natural lemon flavor too, it tastes just like lemon juice is in there, it doesn't taste like any artificial lemon, like uh, what is it, brisk I think, brisk lemon tea. Uh, now comes the fun part. <laughs> Man, what if I dropped it whenever I did that, I would honestly probably cry. Nice tear, didn't spill any. Oh, Jesus. See, I'm not much of a liquor person either. I'm not one to tell you about, you know, what kind of stuff is going on there. Wow, that's quite a bit. I might be... Get it in the shot glass and kind of air it out a bit. Yeah, about a shot or so. Very... I mean, it looks like piss. Let's be real. It looks like piss. Well, I'm going to try it because I can't exactly describe the smell. It just smells like alcohol to me. I don't have... <sighs> See, I'm trying so hard to describe it, but I just... I don't know. I'm just going to drink it. <laughs> Caramel? Caramel? However, it's up to you however you want to pronounce that. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, that really warms you up. <laughs> I can feel that in my chest. This would have been good, like an actual breakfast thing. You know, for that being a 40%, that burns a lot less than, like, the vodka that I've had. Uh, like, light, light caramel, I suppose. Really smooth, and it didn't burn all that much. Normally, whenever I do a shot, I have to, like, choke it down. That went down very easy. I didn't, like, winch my face at all. Normally, I wince quite badly. <laughs> So, we're going to finish that off. That would have been a fun thing to start the review off with, because I'm kind of a lightweight. Very warming, caramel, liquor in the morning. <laughs> I can't believe that's on the breakfast ration. That is cool. Mm, wash it down with some tea. Wow, that's... I feel like that got hotter. <laughs>
overall, a very light breakfast. Uh, morale booster as far as the alcohol goes. The apricot jam is quite good. That was pretty decent. Probably could have threw some sugar in there. Actually, just because I'm going to throw this sugar in the tea and see what happens. Yeah, okay, I can really taste that caramel now. I think I've changed up my pronunciation of that word about four times already. It's one of those things where if I don't actively think about what I'm saying, I'll say it one way, but then if I, you know, put my mind to it, I'll say it a different way. Man, I'm feeling the heat <laughs> from that liquor. Yeah, the aftertaste of leaves is very, very strongly caramel. Alright, the sugar helped that out. Kind of evens out the tartness of the lemon with the sweetness of the sugar. Makes it even more smooth to drink, which it was already smooth to begin with. That about wraps it up for lunch. Now we're going to move over to dinner here shortly whenever I regain an appetite and or blackout. Alright, so lunch is looking pretty good. We got our two packs of biscuits, which realistically I'm probably only going to open one. We got these cool little brand tablets, which that should be, I don't know, fun, I guess. Uh, coffee, these little neato, like, energy tablets slash multivitamins. We got that beef and jelly, which I cannot stress enough, just does not sound good. <laughs> Uh, the minestrone and a little packet of stuff. That breakfast was exceptionally light. Uh, I am happy to report that it did not black out from that shot. That would have been really embarrassing. Uh, I may or may not have had a couple of non-sanctioned, unrationed beers between then and now. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of get these done. I need to figure out so both of these sound quite terrible as far as the condition goes. Also, uh, man, I cannot stress enough how bad this stuff is. I got this tripod now, which is fantastic. I also got the tray, as you can see. Uh, I have it sitting on top of an old Keurig box <laughs> to get the height that I need because the tripod itself is like, I don't know, seven inches or something. Uh, I kept hitting the box, and then I realized that I can just kind of turn it sideways and like effectively shrink the area that it takes up. Look, I'm not in my best state whenever I do these things. Well, okay, so this one's not in great condition. It doesn't smell off or anything. It just smells kind of like a cracker, I suppose. Uh, God, man, these did not hold up. So I'm beginning to think, unless between like the past couple of years, these things got a lot easier to find, that I'm quite lucky when it comes to finding these things. I'm actually going to try this little piece on its own. I can get the little bastard to focus. That's really bland. I mean, it has a fair amount of flavor, I suppose. It's not salty in the slightest, which is probably good. Uh, tastes like a really fancy cracker, I guess. I don't know. that one. That, that's a hard one to put flavor on. But as you can see, it looks like the sweet biscuit, but not sweet. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna get that heated up. I, can't, I haven't decided how I'm supposed to do that. See, I read conflicting things. I've seen reviewers put those directly on the Esbit stove, and then I read somewhere that the sometimes the inside of the cans are coated in some type of film that you're not supposed to directly heat up because it might get on the food. So I'm probably I'm gonna figure something out with that, but. Uh, before I do that, let's get this uh, big old can of fruit opened up and taken care of. Wow, look at that. That is pack full, <laughs> like, right away. Hold on, actually, I'm going to drink some of that, just so I don't get it, like, literally everywhere. Yeah, that just tastes like a really fresh uh, fruit mix. Don't pick up any, like, individual flavors, just everything in there kind of combined all at once. It's uh, really refreshing, I could say that. But yeah, they don't spare any space on that. Also, that's going in a bowl, because I guarantee you, just from hearing that, that's mostly broth. <laughs> that is not going to be fun to put in a tray. So here's that uh, beef, with, beef and jelly. Well, it doesn't look great, 
It doesn't visually look good. It smells very strongly of beef, which I, I guess is a good thing. If it smelled like anything else, I would be a little bit more concerned. Uh, I'm going to try that on its own. I'm going to try that on a cracker, and then I might try that heated up. Because I read somewhere that heating it up does some stuff to the jelly, and it makes it uh, a little bit better. Which, I mean, I heard it's good on its own anyways. So, we're going to go ahead and take care of that, and then we'll probably just kind of save the minestrone and the coffee for in a minute. Oh, I didn't know this came with a knife, too. It really blended in there. Yeah, look at that knife. Hold on, let me get a whole little bastard. Yeah, that's a pretty serious looking little knife. And the spoon actually held up. This fork, I mean, it's a fork. I don't... It's a very heavy duty, like... It's a very thick fork, or it seems fairly thick anyways. No, the lunch pack itself is thick with two C's. It's not particularly flimsy or anything, so I'm just going to try a little bit of this beef jelly. Or beef jelly. God, I would not even want to try that. You can see it's kind of congealed right there. Oh, man, that's appetizing. I'm just going to try a little fork full. I mean, I had Russian meat that I didn't know what it was, so I'm not particularly scared that it's going to be bad. Uh, it's just very visually unappetizing. Hmm. Very beefy. It doesn't taste overly processed or anything. It just tastes like beef. Uh, the jelly doesn't have any real flavor to it. It just kind of keeps it, I guess, moist, which I hate that word. Uh, yeah, nothing to really complain about on that one. Actually, try some of this fruit real quick. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? That's not bad. Get some of this peach right here. I think that's peach. It could be wrong, though. Okay, no. That was peach. I believe this is pear, too. Oh, I'm somewhat tipsy, so bear with me if it's not completely factually correct. Not a lot of variety in that, from what I can tell. It mainly just looks like peach, or like like a 1 to 20 ratio of peach to pear. Which, I mean, I like peaches and I like pears, so it's not bad. But, this is, uh, I don't know, my school would have, like, little fruit cups with pieces of peach and fruit, uh, pear. This is a step above that, and it's, it's good. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, we got these two tablets to try. I'm going to try a brand tablet first. I hope this isn't like some kind of like last resort cyanide tablet because that'd be pretty embarrassing. Uh, doesn't have any discernible scent to it. I guess we just... I assume you're probably not supposed to chew it, but maybe. It's very dry. <laughs> It's incredibly dry. Very wheat-like, I suppose, is how I describe that. That's a weird one. Boy, that's re <laughs> that's really weird. We're gonna try one of these multivitamins, and I'm gonna get that microwave. Oh yeah, I need to try that on a cracker right quick, actually. See how that goes. That's a good combo, because this on its own has a weird texture to it, which I'm not overly sensitive about food texture, but I know a lot of people are. Those are incredibly crunchy. They're not bursting with flavor. That combined, quite good. It plays into one another's strengths and weaknesses quite well. So we're going to try one of these intermixed tablets. Uh, yeah, so it's probably going to keep me healthy, nice and healthy. It's going to kill me immediately. 50-50. You know, I like those odds. <clears throat> Mother did not raise no quitter. If it's good for the Italian armed forces, it's good for the American uh, boy, I suppose. So, look at that. Just like an Alka Seltzer. Oh, hey, there's an arrow on it. Am I supposed to insert it that way? Alright, let's try this little bastard. Man, I really wish I would focus a little bit. There we go. Tastes like a vitamin. Which, I mean, I know that's what it is, but that's a good thing. Okay, a horrifically strong aftertaste. Oh my god. I should have made the coffee. Why didn't I make the coffee? This could have been 
cooling down the whole time. Holy shit. My god, if I don't stop pouring that everywhere, I'm gonna have ants. Alright, I'm gonna get the minestrone taken care of. I'm probably gonna do something about that as well. So I shall return momentarily. Alright. I didn't want to miss me actually pouring this. So. Oh my god, there's water everywhere. I'm gonna get this open. Ooh. There was a hiss on that. That was good. Yeah, see, I knew it was going to be like that. Super watery. If I poured that into a tray, it would have been a fucking mess. It smells like beef stew. Like Campbell's beef stew. Alright, let's get this pour. I want to see chunks of carrot. And then various other vegetables now. A lot of other vegetables. Oh god. Buku vegetables. Alright. Forgive me, I did not bring the ration spoon down here. Wow, that's a healthy portion of soup, I would say. Alright, well, I got that. Uh, Minestrone you taken care of. Let's get this in here. Boy, that looks real good. I'm trying to see if I can get it to glob out. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Ugh. I'm not going to lie, gang. This is really unappetizing. <laughs> yeah. Heating that up a bit should loosen that. Oh, that's a nice chunk of gelatin right there. Howdy, does that just not look good? <laughs> Alright. As you can see, right there is what we're dealing with. Not the most appetizing thing I've ever seen in my life. Kinda reminds me of dog food. Thankfully, it does not taste like dog food. Uh, do not ask me to clarify what I mean by that. I will just ignore your comment. Look, we all tried some things we're not proud of, okay? <laughs> okay, so this is now everything done. As you can see, that is looking a little bit more palatable. Uh, I didn't want to overcook it and then like dry it out or something, so... See that jelly kind of made a nice little bitty semi-thick, like, viscous broth. And... Uh, is the minestrone nice and piping hot and we're gonna kind of sort of dig in so to say but first we're gonna make some coffee all right yeah it feels nice and powdery it doesn't feel like it's caked up or anything like that i'm amazed that nothing in this thing has been compromised aside from the crackers integrity i mean let's be real Wow. I can kind of see it right there. It's a very fine powder. Oh. It's not overly strong either. It's not like super duper fragrant or anything like that. So let's get it in this. Uh... Yeah, check that out. That's still a little bit wet from when I washed it. All right, I'm not going to put a lot of water into it. I'm going to make it sort of like a shot of coffee, I would say. So, yeah, that doesn't seem like much. Stir it up a little bit. Not hopefully get it everywhere. And I got it everywhere. I swear I'm not doing it intentionally. It just kind of happens. This couch is going to be ruined after like two more MREs, I think. Maybe even one. Honestly, by the time dinner comes around, this thing, it'll just be a whole different set, a new couch. That got on my finger and that hurts a lot. It's a bold roast. Then again, I'm not a coffee drinker, so. And also didn't put a lot of water into it. Very dark. 
smells nice. It, it's not like overly aromatic or anything. Why does that look like there's soap on top? Well, I guess we'll find out. See, black coffee is just not my thing. That's strong. Or it seems pretty strong. I'm going to throw some sugar in there just because I can't even. <laughs> uh, I need to get to that. Actually, I'm going to put the sugar in there, stir it up, and I'm going to get to that soup because that shit's probably getting pretty cold at this point. Stir it up carefully without getting it everywhere and hurting myself and or my furniture. I'm not even stirring it that aggressively. It's just like out to get me, man. Yeah, that definitely made it more palatable to me. I'm not saying it's bad coffee. I'm just saying I'm not a coffee drinker. <laughs> Use that top napkin there. I don't really care. Just tear into this minestrone. As you can see, like I said, it smells kind of like a Campbell's beef stew, but a little bit heartier. Wow, there's a lot of vegetables up in there. Vegetables, peas, got some potatoes, peas, carrot. And uh, let's try it. That's not bad. It's kind of like super premium uh, Campbell's almost. It's not... Mm, it's not overly obvious that it came out of a can. The broth... Let me try some of the broth just on its own. It's a very hearty broth. Nothing in particular jumps out about it. It doesn't have any like extreme flavor differences from the rest of everything else. It doesn't taste like particularly tomato or anything. That was a good looking shot right there. Lightly salty, but not too much so. We're going to try this uh, reinvigorated uh, jelly meat. No, actually, let's just try some of that on its own right quick. Wow, that is significantly better warmed up. Uh, both from a texture standpoint and a flavor standpoint. Of course, that, the rest of that broth is kind of re jellifying but the meat got some of it too. Whenever it uh, it firmed it up a little bit, microwaving it, which I know you're probably not supposed to do that. Thankfully, that's not hot or I'd be scalding myself right now. It's a very hearty beef flavor. Like I said, it's not overly processed. I uh, almost feel like there's kind of a slight metallic tinge to it, like a, like something in a liver pate. It reminds me of something I would get in like a Russian ration in the liver pates that that comes with. Here's that coffee, by the way. Yeah, that sugar makes it more palatable to my non-coffee taste. Dip a cracker in this minestrone and see how that goes. Let it soak up a minute. I really like those. Sorry for talking with my mouth full. They just have a flavor. It's hard to describe. It's kind of... I don't know. It's not like any real ration cracker I've ever had. Because uh, Russian mountain ration crackers are very bland. They're basically just hardtack. I'm pretty sure it's just flour and water. And they compress them and you get about 29 packs of them. Uh, it's not like USMRE crackers, which are just saltines without the salt. Like I said, they're teens. It's very, very bread-like, uh, very crunchy, very satisfying crunch, which, I mean, texture is a big thing for a lot of people. Very, they look airy, but they aren't. That's the way to go for that. Because every component of this seems to play off, like, the strengths and weaknesses of everything else. The weakness on that one for me would be, like, a texture thing. Even after you cook it, well, cook it, uh still got its own texture. Those are very crunchy. They play off the softness of that. They play off the brothiness of that. Honestly, for the minestrone, you could probably take some of these chunks and throw them in this soup. Let them kind of sit there for a minute. Soak up some of that broth, because let me tell you, there's a lot of fucking broth up in there. And, uh, yeah. So that's basically the general outline of dinner. I'm going to finish this off, and then uh, we'll get over... Or, Jeez, I keep saying dinner. That's the outline of lunch down. You know, you get the idea. It's very good. Dinner is looking pretty good. Uh, we got these two energy bar, well, fruit bars. I'm only gonna eat one just because. I mean, eh, there's no point. That ravioli and meat sauce, tuna with beans, and more biscuits. We also got coffee. 
And yeah, so let's get started with, I'm going to try this first. This looks good. Very eye-catching with the orange and all that fun stuff. Oh, looks like a very incredibly super faint fruit smell on that. That kind of surprises me. I figured that'd be like bursting with fruit. It looks more like a like a like cereal bar slash granola bar. I was expecting it to look kind of like a Russian uh, ration fruit bar, where it's just kind of like a fruit jerky sort of. All right, we're gonna try bite of this right quick. It's got a fruit flavor, kind of a very faint, almost raisin or not really raisin, somewhat raisin. There's like a raisin-ish undertone. There's not a lot going on there. It's flavorful, but I can't wrap my finger around what fruit it exactly is. It's very, it's soft, kind of firm, but not over the top. And I like that. And that's very good. I'm surprised seeing something like that in in the breakfast module. These didn't hold up all that well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the exact same like the other one was. Yeah, very light. <clears throat> fairly bland on its own. But that's why we got this here tuna fish. Gonna bust this open and check it out. Get that on some crackers. And then we're going to get the ravioli heated up and ready to go. Huh. Yep. Looks like there's some type of fat, and maybe that's just the tuna on top, and then it's surrounded by some beans. All right, gonna try that on its own, obviously. Okay, we're trying this here: tuna and beans. Very strong tuna flavor, and kind of slightly tomatoey, I believe. Oh yeah, there's that tuna underneath it. You can really see it. Uh, nice and oily. Uh, let's try this out. Definitely a nice tuna flavor. Like a, it's not as harsh. It's not as in your face as something like the Star Kissed uh, Pouch. It's, it's it's nice. It's very subtle. It's there. It's not hidden, but it's not you know horrifically up in there. The beans are a perfect texture. They're not mushy and they're not like crunchy. They just kind of you barely put any pressure down and it's done. Uh, it's incredibly oily. I felt it as soon as I put it in my mouth. It was just oil city up in there. Again, I can just feel it like all over my mouth. It's it is wild. But yeah, that is good. Try that on a cracker right quick. And then we're gonna get that main heated up. There we go. Let's try that. Oh yeah, that's a winning combo right there. We're gonna get the ravioli heated up, put into that bowl because I'm pretty sure that's gonna go everywhere. And yeah, no oh, crap. This is what it looks like up in there before I heat it. Yeah, watery. I see some like piece of a ravioli kind of poking through the top there. See the sauce. Oh wow, I smell strongly of tomato and basil. Yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, let's get this in this bowl. Let's see what we're working with. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I barely have enough bowl to contain all the broth. Yeah, you get a fair amount of raviolis. And they're all intact. They're not like broken apart or anything, so that's good. I'm going to get that heated up and we're going to test it out. Okay, I thought it was probably best to go ahead and just sort of switch bowls before I got sauce everywhere. So I went with the deeper bowl. It's nice and warmed up. Still very basilly and tomato. I'm probably going to use a spoon on that. I don't know why I got a fork out. Yeah, enough oil in that that I do believe we're marching on it right as we speak. So this is the ravioli. I'm going to try to see if I can get one of these little bastards on here. Oh. Okay. It doesn't look overly filled unless this one just kind of leaked out. So I'm going to try this out. Oh my, that sauce is amazing. As soon as you taste it, it's just like an herb flavor explosion. A lot of basil, salty, very tomatoey. 
the ravioli has a nice kind of just normal cooked pasta taste to it but it's not tasteless and it's not overly offensive and the meat inside is tender and just kind of tastes garlicky that tomato sauce or meat sauce whatever you want to call it is just amazing um, I gotta try this see if I can't get these crackers to soak up that tomato sauce. That is seriously amazing. And real quick, I'm going to make some coffee, of course. <clears throat> Safe to say this ration is pretty top notch. Again, then again, I have a very limited, uh, you know, ration experience. I think I went over it in a previous video. This is probably my eighth one and it's considered to be one of the best in the world apparently the alcohol modules are very hard to get in the US like I said I guess I got lucky I found mine on eBay someone from Lithuania was shipping it and uh, I may or may not have one or two more coming in I don't know we'll just see what happens get that mixed up get my water yeah, make it Kind of a bolder roast and see how that goes because I got the sugar in it this time. Well, I did already use the spoon for everything, so I'm just gonna stir that out with a knife. Maybe a thinner stirring appliance will keep me from getting it everywhere. I doubt it, but it's fun to pretend. Not like I need a knife or anything, anyways. I can maybe cut the fruit bar, I suppose, but you know. I don't know. I don't know if I dunked these in the coffee earlier or not. Let's see how that goes. It's not bad more of this tuna yeah for such a light breakfast that was an insanely light breakfast and most of the stuff in the module that made it so heavy was the stove and all the other stuff in it but you know you get not a lot for breakfast you get biscuits they're not overly sweet or anything either I love that tuna the oily in this takes getting used to but it's such a nice, subtle, comforting tuna flavor. Slightly strong cough. Yeah, it's got a very good smell to it. It's kind of, it's not strong, strong. So I guess a medium rose to my uneducated coffee no, co goodness, coffee knowledge. As a non-coffee drinker, I can definitely appreciate that. All right, these crackers are nice and marinated oh yeah this ration top notch overall this was a very good ration it was very much worth the wait i was very excited for it uh the cordial alcohol in the breakfast module was amazing i still can't believe that's the only combat ration in the world with alcohol in it uh I'm surprised it held up as well as it did, except for the biscuits, but that's fine. But yeah, there wasn't a single component in this ration that I did not like. That Esbit stove is wild. You know, you can use that one for probably a while before it starts breaking down. The inclusion of the brand tablets is nice to kind of keep you regular. The multivitamins are nice, even though they don't taste great. They're meant to get you healthy, not taste great. So that's forgivable, obviously. So yeah, if you ever get a chance to get one of these, probably be fine without the cordial too. The food itself is wonderful. Just the cordial was a very nice little surprise. Definitely recommend that. And uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I got quite a few in the pipeline slash delivery uh, system whenever they decide they want to show up. Got a couple more rarer ones. One very rare one. I can't wait for that. So yeah, just stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.